Well, everybody, we are in Wexford, and I cannot believe it. First thing I'm going to say is we left rainy, wet conditions in Ballymena. We've come down to Wexford, and the ground is literally hard as the road. Dermot, it's good to see you again. Good to see you, um, It's pretty clear. There's a lot of Pottinger equipment on, on the go here. But um, what's happening, and why are we involved? Yeah, well, we're here, like I said, Gareth, in the, in the sunny southeast. Um, and firstly, big welcome to you and the Grassman team. It's great to have you down. Uh, we're here to showcase a sample of the, the product range that we're offering. Uh, we have a, a great location here. Like I said, the ground is, is an ideal condition for it. Um, and we're going to show you guys uh, a sample of grassland and tillage and a real strong focus on tillage equipment. Now, with COVID-19 hitting the world in 2020, how has that affected Pottinger and, and particular Pottinger in Ireland? I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's turned the whole industry on its head. Uh, and it's, it's gave all of us a challenge that we, we never would have been able to prepare for. Uh, but thankfully, you know, we, we adjusted and, and I find whenever these things happen, like, you know, a, a big change, once you adapt, you adapt and drive on. That's what we had to do at Pottinger, we had to adapt rapidly uh, with our dealer network and, and to still continue to be able to offer the service that we were, we were known for. Well, what's the purpose of this um, event from your perspective and Pottinger's perspective? Is it just to get the machines out there, let people see them? or? Yeah, um, with COVID, obviously, we, we can't go to shows anymore. We can't uh, show our product to large audiences. So one way we can do it is through the likes of yourselves, uh, be it online, online systems, um, and it's all about getting product in front of people in a different format. And well, that's exactly what what what, what we are going to do. And you know, from our point of view at Grassman, we're we're delighted because um, we've been able to get involved with you and supply a couple of tractors. So yep. we we are really looking forward to see how yeah, we're, uh, de we're uh, delighted with that to have the uh, how big Henry, Henry does yeah. and, and the big <laughs> and the big deer does. Um, yeah. We know we know they'll be working hard, but also this year's been a very uh, special year for you on a personal note. It has indeed, yeah. It has. Um, you've uh, took the, the job of top office, as they call it, <laughs> in the FTMTA. Just explain, because we have a lot of viewers outside of Ireland, just explain what that is, Dermot. So the FTMTA is the Farm Tractor Machinery Trade Association in Ireland, and it's a, an association that works on behalf of its members. Um, we lobby certain things, we, we work with manufacturers uh, to ensure that, so as the bottom line, life is easier for the dealer and, its, and our members. Um, and yes, you're quite right, I was given the honour of being its president this year. Um, so yeah, it's, a, it's a great honour to do that and hopefully I can bring some change uh, and some positive things to the association. And when you say you'd like to bring some change, have you a particular focus? Because most presidents within any organisation come in and they have something that they want to focus on. Yeah, have there's, there's one or not. There's many, many focuses we have, Gareth, and uh, it was first and foremost is to the industry has been very, very good to me from a young age, and it's to try and recruit and bring in younger people into the trade. Um, it's a great trade to be involved in. It's exciting. You get to work with machines like this every day of the week. And uh, for me, starting off as, as a mechanic in, the, in a dealership to where I am today, it's been an exciting journey, to be fair, and hopefully to continue on further. Uh, so, yeah, that's really my first and foremost uh, objective is to bring in young people, get them more involved in machinery uh, and to look at their trade as being a very, very viable career. I'd also want to, I suppose, my, my second focus would be to, to look at farm safety. Uh, it's something that we all have to face up to and be conscious of. And we have a responsibility as manufacturers to produce machines that are safe and keeping our farmers and users safe. Uh, and also my third is to is to raise awareness about mental health i think it's a very important issue yeah. that we need to we need to look at we need to understand more uh, but acceptance is the first thing we need to accept that it's out there yeah. uh, and we need to deal with it yeah well i mean it's it's a very fair comment to say what, what you've really talked about there and your and your, your your sort of three key points that you're you're laying out um i suppose the very first one is something that I think grassmen as a business can relate to 
Um, there was no farm for me, but there was a love for the industry, an absolute love for machines. You know, so we've managed to carve our own business within that market, and it's bringing us together with manufacturers yeah. like you. So within the likes of that first point, here we are, two people that maybe weren't necessarily for becoming farmers themselves, mm -hmm. working in an industry and loving the industry. So I would be behind you 100% on encouraging young people into the, into yep. the industry. Yep. It's been a, an industry that has provided for me personally since I left uh, university. Okay. Um, everything I've done has been within the agri industry. So that for that part of it, I love it. So yeah, there is careers out there. For sure. Yeah. Um, farm safety, I mean, it's an absolute no brainer. It's a, it's a must. And as you say, mental health, well, I think that's something again that we at Grassmen are, are, are looking very hard and hopefully we'll be able to work closer with companies like yourself as in Pottinger and also maybe within the FTMTA to try and help reach out there and explain um, to people that it is okay to not be absolutely. okay. Absolutely, for sure. Well look, Dermot, we're not going to talk much longer because there's a lot of machines here and there's a lot of soil to <laughs> turn brown. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we'll catch up with the rest of your team and get a look at some of the machines that are on display here and get them in the field. So thanks for your time. Thank you, Gareth. And, Thank you very much. Uh, let's have a good day. Yes, great. Thank you.